For this recovery cleaning procedure, you will need KQSR heat activated grill cleaner, an Ecolab double sided grill brush, a K grill cleaning pad holder and pad, clean sanitizer soaked grill cloths, heat resistant gloves, a face shield, an apron, plastic scraper, and programming instructions for your model of grill. Before we begin, it is important to note that you should not remove the grill filters during cleaning. Cleaning without the filters can cause severe burns or fire. Complete the recovery mode programming for your model of grill. Start cleaning by putting your grill into the recovery mode. Do not turn the fan interlock switch off. Allow the grill to reach 285 degrees Fahrenheit before cleaning. A temperature of 285 degrees is critical to maximize the effectiveness of the cleaning product. Gather the materials for cleaning while the grill is cooling down. Put on heat resistant gloves. Then remove and empty the grease troughs. Rinse and replace them. Remove all clips, bars, and release sheets before recovery cleaning. Clean the release sheets as you would during the daily cleaning procedure. Take the clips and bars to the three compartment sink, then wash, rinse, and sanitize. When the grill has reached 285 degrees Fahrenheit, it is ready for cleaning. Put on personal protective equipment, including heat resistant gloves, face shield, and apron. Wipe the upper and lower platens with a clean, sanitizer soaked grill cloth before cleaning. Discard cloth into the soiled towel bucket after use. With a plastic scraper, scrape as much carbon buildup off as possible on all surfaces of the platens, especially the back and corners. With both platens up, apply sufficient KQSR heat activated grill cleaner to grill tool pad and coat edges of upper platens with product. Pour additional heat activated grill cleaner onto a grill cloth and use it to apply to hard to reach areas. Gather a separate bottle of KQSR heat activated grill cleaner and remove the cap. Pour the entire bottle of cleaner evenly onto the lower platen surface of the grill along with the remainder of the first bottle. Make sure to coat the entire surface of the lower platen. Use the K grill cleaning pad holder and pad if needed to spread product for full coverage of the grill surface. Next, lower both of the upper platens onto the lower platen surface coated with grill cleaner. Allow the upper and lower platens to soak during the cycle, which is approximately 17 minutes. After the cycle is completed and the upper platens have risen, scrub the flat surface, edges, and sides of the upper platen with the K double sided grill brush. Scrub until the soil liquefies. Then lower the upper platen back into the KQSR heat activated grill cleaner. Next, raise the other upper platen. Scrub the surfaces with the double sided grill brush. Scrub until the soil liquefies. To clean the lower platen, raise both of the upper platens. Scrape any remaining carbon buildup off of all surfaces, especially back and corners, with the plastic scraper. Scrub the lower grill surface and all areas using the K grill cleaning pad holder and pad. Squeegee the grill cleaner into the troughs. Thoroughly rinse both of the upper and lower platens with clean, sanitizer-soaked grill cloths. Repeat until no residual grill cleaner remains. Clean the surrounding areas such as the hood, bullnose, and backsplash with clean, sanitizer-soaked grill cloths. Discard the cloths into the soiled towel bucket after use. Then remove and empty the grease troughs. Rinse and replace them. Reinstall the upper and lower release sheets. Once grill pad has cooled, remove. Then wash and rinse it thoroughly at the three compartment sink. Flip the grill pad over and replace it on the tool for the next grill cleaning. 
Wash, rinse, and sanitize all utensils and tools used to clean the grill at the three-compartment sink. 